Just recently on But First This, you may have seen a young lady called Claire Ashdown meeting the man of her dreams, and that, of course, was Simon Climey. Well, this has also happened for this young lady. This young lady is called uh, Anita, and the man of your dreams is... Glenn Medeiros. And who's that sat next to you? <laughs> Glenn Medeiros. And are you a complete gibbering wreck? Yeah. Yes, you are. Aren't you? <laughs> Tell us how you got about uh, how you got about meeting Glenn over there. Uh, well, in just Seventeen magazine, they fine uh, publication that it is. Yes. <laughs> they have a feature, and you can write in and you can ask to meet your favourite star. And I wrote in and asked to meet Glenn, but I didn't think I would. Did you? Yes. Did you ever think that you know? They, they, how do they get in touch with you? Do they write to you or phone you up? Or they something? rang me. And, uh, and did you think it was for real, or did you think no, it was one of your friends winding you no, up or something? No, I, I thought it was someone mucking about, and uh, I didn't believe it. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's true. Here he is, the man himself. What do you think? And you can be honest, because, you know, I'm all right. Very nice. You're very pleased, aren't you? Yeah. Do you do a lot of this kind of thing, Glenn? Do you, do you uh, no, I haven't done too much of this, no. And will you do in the future? Excuse me? Will you do it in the future? Sure, I yeah. mean, <laughs> are you... Uh, or, you know, are you, are you keen to get involved with your fans and meet them and stuff like that? No, I like to very much. I like to, I like to meet the fans and see, um, you know, how, how they like the music and, and just talk to them and see, you know. I like to meet them. That's good. Now, you are 18 now, started out in your singing career, well, as far as we know, at 17. Mm -hmm. But have you been playing, you play several musical instruments. So when did you, when did it all start as a career? Very young. Well, uh, yeah, when I was, uh, I started singing in front of an audience at about the age of five or six, but uh, I started entering talent contest, which really helped me at, at about the age of 11 or 12, and uh, the last contest... Doing I, what? Were you singing at that stage, or were you playing the saxophone? Or all the oh, no, I was singing all at that time. I started playing in instruments at, at about the age of uh, maybe 13 or 14. I started playing in a band, the, the clarinet, and then uh, later the guitar and then the piano. But you're 18 now, so normally most kids in America and Hawaii will be going on to a college career. Are you going to? Right now, yeah. Um, well, I'm looking at that right now, but what, what I really want to do is uh, uh, follow up and do promotion on my new album and new single. And I want this to be my career because I enjoy it very much. But um, would it perhaps not be better to have something to fall back on? I yes, mean, show business and the music yeah. industry can be a really, you know, touch yeah. and go. Career. And even if it's successful, it only usually it's not something that will last for a very long period of time. So, um, I I want to go to college one of these days, mm -hmm. and um, I'm sure I will. But at this period of time, I'm I'm going to follow the music scene. Lovely. Tell us about uh, the new single. What's what's the video like that you've made for it? Well, actually, I haven't seen the video. I've, <laughs> I, I well, you're about to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to see it today. Uh, I, we, it was just done, and uh, I had a great time, you know, doing the video. It was, it was a great experience for me. We did it in about four days, so it took a little while, but uh, we what's it about? Because the, the last one was all was all terribly romantic and waves crashing yeah. on the shore and oh, this was, this standing was, on the mm -hmm. cliff tops and all this. It was all <laughs> a bit, you know. Well, this song was yummy, yummy, by, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, this song was written by the same writer, so it's still be a, it'll be a very romantic song. Are you a yeah. romantic person? Yeah, do you I think stand so. on the do you stand on the top of your cliffs with girlfriends and give yeah. them big cuddles oh, and I things? Do. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. Are you sure? Yeah. I do. Oh next next thing you'll be telling me you go bareback riding <laughs> down the beach. No, no. I mean, come on, Glenn, let's get serious. Here. You know, this sort of thing happens in Mills and Boom, but does it happen in real life? In Hawaii. In Hawaii it in, does. In Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii is wow. great. Hawaii is a very romantic place. Well the new single's called Long and Lasting Love, isn't it? Yeah. Is it very yeah. similar to uh, yeah, it is very similar. Much. We did it in New York except this time. And uh, yeah, it's basically about uh, these two people who are in love. And, uh, and I'll let the video tell the rest of the story, but uh, it's basically it's, it's a quite romantic video. All right, then. Well, let's see it. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank right, you for coming in. And thank you. you for coming in as well. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day with Glenn. This is the new single from Glenn Medeiros, which is called Long and Lasting Love. Hello? Jenny? Glenn! Hi, where are you? Everybody's here. I can't wait to see you. Something's come up. They called a rehearsal today and I just won't be able to make it. Glenn, no. Come on, Glenn, I wait for us. Look, Jenny. I gotta be going. Look, I'll call you later, okay? Sorry. I understand. Happy birthday, Jenny.
Happy ending, Glenn Medeiros, and long and lasting love, Superman. <laughs> the Adventures of Superman. 